number one. Post-apocalyptic Earth number three becomes your battleground in Lone Light, a short action RPG where light itself is your lifeline. You'll dash, smash, and slash through security robots and corrupted beings across multiple atmospheric areas, each featuring distinct musical tracks and environmental storytelling. While you master a unique HP system that uses light points you can spend to either stay alive or bypass cooldown timers for more aggressive combat. The game promises four hours of content exploring the ruins of a forgotten world, complete with thematic boss fights and mysteries to uncover about your creator. Made by a single developer, this handcrafted experience blends combat innovation with atmospheric exploration and impressive pixel art visuals. Number two. When alien fleets unleash relentless warships promising annihilation, only one pilot stands between Earth and total destruction. Orbital Siege delivers a classic arcade experience with a modern twist, blending planetary defense mechanics with the shooting intensity of asteroids. You'll face waves of unique alien enemies in challenging boss battles while collecting power-ups to enhance your firepower, speed, and defenses. The pixelated retro aesthetic pays homage to the golden age of the arcade, while precise controls let you skillfully maneuver through dense enemy fire. It's a 2D space shoot 'em up that captures a balance of nostalgic charm and contemporary gameplay. I also want to shout out Zenva for sponsoring this video. Zenva Academy offers easy to follow beginner and intermediate courses for game development with God of War including a fantastic free introductory course that you can check out right now that covers all the basics to help you get started. As a paid Zenva member, you get professional video tutorials, written lessons, and interactive quizzes. You'll work on real projects, building games in different genres like open world, RPGs, and first-person shooters. And if you have interests beyond the Gato engine, they have courses on Python, Unity, Unreal, and other tools. A subscription includes a seven day free trial and the first 50 subscribers can use my link in the description to get an extra 20% off the first year. Number three. What started as a simple art heist has turned into something far more sinister. Serpent at the Vernissage drops you into an abandoned island of paradise where reality bends and nothing makes sense. You're lost inside layered dreams, surrounded by forgotten villas, sentient art pieces, and sunken opera houses. You'll need to navigate this mysterious archipelago on foot, by motorboat or paraglider, while also defending against security bots with whatever weapons you can find. With no map markers or quest logs to guide you, you'll need to piece together clues from notes and emails to find your way home before the islands consume you completely. A psychological experience that masquerades as a platformer but reveals something far more unsettling. Safe Zone positions you as Subject 42 in a simulation designed to break you into pieces. Guided by Mara, an AI that claims to know what you need before you do, you'll need to learn the core mechanic that subverts traditional gaming logic completely. Death isn't failure. Rather, it's the only way forward. You'll die in traps to unlock black doors, with each death counting towards your progress. With three possible endings based on your choices and skill, the game explores themes of obedience, observation, and defiance against an increasingly controlling system. Can you make it out of the safe zone? And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Black Hill Keep. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. Imagine Minesweeper meets tactical roguelike combat and you've got Dungeon Sweeper, a clever fusion of both. Every dungeon becomes a dangerous puzzle where opening tiles reveals numbered clues about hidden monsters lurking nearby. You can flag suspected enemy positions to play it safe or risk triggering battles where your hero's gear, stats, and items determine victory or defeat. Each playthrough randomizes dungeons and loot combinations with difficulty escalating as you venture deeper. Permadeath makes every decision meaningful, whether you're carefully deducing monster positions or boldly charging into unknown territory. It looks like a fresh challenge that rewards both puzzle-solving skills and tactical thinking with the hint of nostalgia. 